drives. Take this. Take it. Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die presents Master of Puppets, the side campaign for the Grimstone Chronicles, season one, episode seventeen, which we're going to pre-name tonight, Get Bargle Part Two. Um, I'm your DM and host, still joined by the Ontario crew, Adam, Ahmed, and Mark, in the order in which I see their lovely faces. How is everyone doing on this fine evening? Your mics are now marshmallowy. Toasty warm. I am, unlike these two chuckleheads, meeting Ahmed and Mark, I am working way too many hours. There's been stuff and things, and work is like, hey, do you want some? We'd like some work with your work. And we get so much work. We have so much work. Here, why don't we just start throwing, you throw some stuff around. Hey, it's, oh, we love you so much. Here's some more work. How, how about that? Listen, uh, I work in spurts. <laughs> there's, 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 there's like a couple weeks ago, it was eight straight night shifts at 12 hours apiece. And then there's today, like this week was six days off. So yeah. it, it comes, it's it highs and lows for me. It oh. is a definite high. Today. I, I am taking Friday off because uh, we didn't do anything uh, recently. So my, my, because my wife had a new job, we haven't really done too much. So we're taking a day to go do like couples things we're gonna go and you're, you're gonna go treat yourself <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, you know we're gonna go eat some fried chicken and have some ice cream and be all like really really cringy we're just gonna be so cringy my wife wants to wear matching shirts i'm like i don't know about this and she's like, oh, <laughs> she's like, like, like do we don't will be it. wearing <laughs> no, no. like no, Don't I'm dip wrong. your foot in that pond. There's no getting out. <laughs> thing. She actually checkmated me because it's like you're lazy. It's like the answer is yes. So what I'm going to do is put on two shirts. I'll put the, the matching shirt on underneath and a different shirt on top. You'll put on the shirt because you'll be like, yeah, whatever. Put on the shirt because it doesn't match the one you're wearing. But once we leave the house, we're going to take off the other shirt because it doesn't match the one. And you're then you're like, you're right. Because I'm not going to do anything about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm that, not turning the car around. I'm not yeah, pulling a spare got... shirt out of the trunk or some nonsense. Yeah. It'll be what it is. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I'd be in a different boat either. It's, uh, That's checkmate right there. It's not worth turning the car around, but still. When, it, when it's like there's chicken on the other end. I want the chicken. <laughs> you just gotta do what I do. Make sure she's she's aware. She's gonna get a stern sideways glance. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now I may not be working, but I haven't slept more than three hours in two weeks. But that's that's oh man. That's that's every day you've been alive, as far as I know. Yo, this is different than I choose to versus. <laughs> is, is, is this the baby effectively oh yeah yeah i miss work <laughs> i've had that day i've how's had that day it's fun how's your adventure coming because it's like a couple days from the big day oh oh you ask I provide. The props came in for the kids. <laughs> oh, his Halloween adventure. I was like, I, I don't oh. usually get this question about DM prep. Who are you talking to? <laughs> We're about to play it, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be uh, wearing, uh, kind of chasing them around the house with. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, and I bought them their own weapons. And, uh, like armor they will buy and it's gonna be good i've got all my props everything is ready uh, knows what to do what's gonna be hilarious is if they don't pick up on how this is supposed to work and it's just the big giant mess oh no no they know the, be the best laid plans right no 
No, what what'll, be, what'll be hilarious is, is afterwards Ahmed shows up. He's got a big eye patch on and goes, "It went bad, guys." I am gonna be walking them through what is the they, they, solved, they solved the problem the adventurer way. It's it sounds like if he's already been playing like role playing games with them that they'll respond to new sets of rules and live action role playing effectively. <laughs> Well, yeah. yeah, like he, like I remember when I used to run the, uh, the Lego dungeons. Yeah, like you'd run dungeons in the Lego world. Um, that sounds like fun. Yeah, they like that. Well, no, he, here's the interesting part. You know how when we were kids, we play like um, cops and robbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we play whatever games that are like you know off your mind, imagination. You know what the, my kids are playing now as like fun, imaginative. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a wooden sword. Okay, now I'm gonna level it up. I've got enough materials. I'm gonna craft it. Oh, I don't have enough time. Like Minecraft. they are playing, they are Minecrafting their games, and I'm watching this. I'm like, this is real fucking different. It, it's just preparing them for the daily grind of future work. <laughs> uh, future work is all one word. You just say it really quick. Future work. <laughs> TM or whatever. <laughs> I'm watching it it's so different than when we were kids. I'm like, okay, so this was based off what they're experiencing. How has what I, like, what it's, I experienced it's, it's affected It's equivalent of you played. saying, oh, I've got the, the bullet shield. Or for us, it was like, for my generation, it was all, like, mutants and Marvel, right? It was all, like, superhero powers. And it's like, oh, I got this other power. And you keep one-upping. You know, that, for, us, for my generation, it was that. I played Dukes at Hazards and Knight Rider. Oh, <laughs> we were we were kind of latchkey kids though, Mark. Like yeah. our parents weren't home when we got home. No. <laughs> uh, we were kind of left to our own, <laughs> right? Our parents, parents for a couple hours know. didn't have any clue what we were up to. No, <laughs> my parents didn't know if I'd be home when they got home. <laughs> it was, that's, yeah. that that is very similar. My parents worked in the city and. I got off school at three, and their job ends at five. Yep. So and and see. that style of parenting is just is generational, and it's described in the fourth turning book that I that I was uh, going on about. Like it actually is like this is describing our generations very well. <laughs> <laughs> what the nomad generation or the mercenaries? Uh, yeah, I, I now know why I think everything's stupid. There's a whole generation of us that think that there's everything's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're off topic here. We're making reference to something that we we, we we do sit around and sometimes talk about things that are gaming related. But we have gathered here to play a game, and it's uh, uh, why do we get started? Um, let's do a quick recap of what happened in the last game on Master of Puppets, which was episode sixteen of season one, Get Bargle Part One. The party at the behest of the trapped lich in the basement travels out of the town to the ruins of Mismere Castle in search for a wizard named Bargle. They find the ruins infested with kobolds, traps, and the monstrous minions of the wizard Bargle. Bargle proves hostile, and their visit soon, soon turns into a raid to try to capture the trickster wizard. And then I think there were some revelations made that there wasn't one, but at least three Bargles. Um, and they all seem to be very competent wizards, and I think the party has just got a moment of breather after they had a terrible amount of spell power thrown at them while they were running around trying to outflank the wizards in uh, in rooms in rooms and layouts that they weren't familiar with. basically. <laughs> yeah. In the in the plainest possible terms, Bargle is a butt. And then our bruisers went the wrong way. But our bargo is our the way I described it to my wife because my wife has asked how how game goes um, was Ahmed and Mark got punished for being slightly metagamey, and I just got my ass handed to me for five rounds while they were <laughs> backing off in the back of the dungeon, like they're just off there just doing stuff, <laughs> just getting beaten. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you uh, ghost almost died and. Uh... Alistair, Alistair was was uh, at one point bloodied uh, because of the fire magic. Grackle is near death. Three um, points, four points away from from death. So Bar, I think, 
I think we left off game with Bargle, uh, at least one of the three Bargles. The other two have turned into uh, wizard garb wearing doppelganger creatures that died uh, that died in this room. Let me see if I might have dragged the wrong token away. Uh, yeah, this is a doppelganger. That's the Bargle. Um, and the third one that you were fighting, at least in this area of the dungeon, uh, had teleported away. Uh, I think we left off with Los. He's a little bit injured as well, kind of guarding the hallway while all of you are collecting uh, yourselves uh, in the hallway with the statues of Bargle. Where are you? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think Junker comes out of the wall into a chamber with a bunch of very heavy stone doors. Chaga is very, very large at this point in time, uh, as he's used a... I think he drank a potion of uh, in large person during the fight when Mort and Grackle were nowhere to be seen. But I believe this door is open. This door is open, yep. Uh, these four doors are heavy stone. This is a one of the regular doors. Uh, okay. Um. Do we need to gather around for some healing? Says Chaga, whose voice has changed because he's eight times as the mass. <laughs> I think everybody who's hurt gathers around. <laughs> yeah. yep. yep. Let's see how many uh, channels Chaga has left. Got my teeth kicked in. Combat sheet. Did show up again. Oh yeah, he did. He's got three channels left. Uh, okay, with his item, his channels are forty-six, so fifteen healing to everyone. Okay. That heals up Alistair. He's got fifty-four left. Mort, you, are there people still injured? Mort's still injured. He's still got 12 damage. Okay, Chaga will do it again. <laughs> nothing of the minus 5 con. <laughs> uh, 16 healing. Okay, uh, Ghost is good. Uh, well, Ghost is still exhausted, but he's not. Uh, has no hit point damage. Junker is good. Okay. Mort's in good shape now. Well, as good as he's going to get. Oh, you look a little tattered there, Los. Um, perhaps this one will help. And he looks around, but he realizes he's not going to harm anyone, and he channels negative energy to heal undead. As Chaga is a versatile channeler with his last channel and heals Los for 14. And we're, we're continuing with the house rule, though. That stuff fully impacts the corporeal undead, right? Yep. Cool. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, unfortunately, um, I'm all tapped out. The weave can only, well, uh, bestow a person so much power. Well, there's only one Bargle left. So I have to find him and pin him fuck down. Unless, of course, you want me to cast some of my other spells. I'm still heavily injured. Maybe give him a couple. Uh, Chaga does not have the low level sorcerer or the low level arcane spell to heal undead, although that might be a thing he takes. Um, nah, he, he actually channels negative energy, so he's going to burn one of his prot from evils to heal Los a little bit more. Out of combat, he'll take average, so nine, no, uh, eight. There you go. There you go. Alright, let's get back at it! Where did he go? Los goes flying into the room. Ghost looks at Grackle and shrugs. <laughs> uh, Grackle's cool. This is gonna be options. Yeah. Uh, Barnabas pulls out his wand and goes, Come here, Mike. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh that, that shouldn't be sticking out. <laughs> no! No. Uh, Chaga also doesn't have any ranks in heal, so it's. 
Yeah, you have to go. Okay. Hey, there, it's right here. <laughs> and undead would be like knowledge religion to know the pattern. How, how much damage do you have? Uh, 54. 54, okay. <laughs> All right. Chaga will use three charges from a wand for 15 on Grackle. Uh, we're back, baby, and um, back you'll get it. another eight from uh, Barnabas. He's got a wand as well. This wand has taken a licking. <laughs> and if all that happened in parallel, that's about a full minute. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh, drinking potions in the meantime because I still am fucked up. Uh, dude, you, you you're, got. You're fully you're, healed at that point. You're totally healed. How? You had because 15 eight you had charges like, is in, Oh, yeah. eight charges! Yes. Oh. Not eight healing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Um, I'll make sure to buy another one for you. Ha! Ah, oh. You almost fucking died, says Alistair. Yeah. I almost. Oh, what the fuck? You're right. <laughs> Are you right in there? You look a little smoky. Uh, it yeah. feels like it's stuck. All right. Don't tug on it for now. We're going to have a look at it when we get home, all right? Uh, you bleeding? Huh? Are you bleeding? No. All the no, bleeding right. stopped. It, it melted onto my face, didn't it? I could feel my nose. Oh, yeah. It's not. That's going to be hard to fix. <laughs> if you keep touching it, you'll go blind. <laughs> <laughs> This is quite serious. Alistair skips away and and, and <laughs> Barnabas looks at you. Don't fucking stare. <laughs> he's looking. He's looking into the next room. Come on, it's one of these four doors. Yeah, right. There's uh, a room. There's a room uh, that we got. Uh, we were trying to uh, flank them, but we were uh, hit by dead end. Uh, Barnabas. You notice that these doors slide open, um, like they each have a, a, a they each have a, like a pivot in the middle. Okay. Like they they kind of they kind of slide open, and um, you you're a trap guy, right? Yes. I'm well, sure. not inherently trap themselves they how do you tell this from not seeing there is a mechanism on this side of the room for all four doors that suggests that the doors can only be opened from this side the side oh. trying to get through is stuck it looked like a straight wall. He points to that side. I assume it was that wall. In examining all the doors, can I figure out where this mechanism is? Yeah, no, there's a mechanism for each door that okay. that, that, that is like a like a stone that is kind of popped up a little bit and you step on it and then you'll be able to then you'll be able to open the door. But if if there isn't one of these on the other side then, be then they're one they're one way opening doors. Can, can we like they close on their own? Uh, yes, they uh, with with your with your skill, it looks like they will slowly close on their own. Uh, um, the police device to prevent them from closing. Um. Yes, so you you could start working on these things. This is you filing into stone and trying to like cut cables and things, but. Uh, yeah. All right, let's pick a fucking door. The, the, uh, the uh, dead end we ran into, it uh, was chamber, bed chamber, trapped for a wizard. It was down this, it was down that way. He's pointing at... Okay. All right, that's fine with me. Poke through the wall real quick, Mike. Yeah, there is a chamber with a uh, another wall. The chamber isn't very big. Okay, we're not going to step. Like we're just going to like face out a little bit of the thing and just go back in. Yep. Um, I don't care what anybody says. Druids are the best scouts. <laughs> yeah. You, you have to multi-class with something that has stealth, but then yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and what is this? Uh, it's a wall. So there's a wall. I didn't move. I mean, it, it, it's so giant rock speaking in Nizumi. A tiny one, then. All right. <laughs> Speaks in Nizumi. Yeah, Chuck is moving up to. Uh, he's actually stooping and collecting stuff off the doppelgangers. Ooh, uh, ghost is going to very. They the doppelganger bodies are weird. They have kind of inky blood. Their skin is rubbery. Uh, one of their faces is still kind of like through violence, still melted to look like like a like bargle. Um, but they are wearing like wizard equipment. The spell component the pouches kind of, and one with a kind of bargle face. Yeah, taking that one's head because it's got kind of a bargle face. Okay. <laughs> Worst case scenario, these are bargle. You can strip them. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chaga because he carries a lot of the stuff because he's got the mule back cords is stuffing wizard gear into uh, pouches and things. I forgot Mort's got them too, so he's very his carrying capacities is off the charts. Yeah. Pretty large. Okay, so you've at least. You now know there was at least a wall and a one-way door. Uh, you did not see the same like push button in the same spot or on the ground in front of the door. Um, All right, sounds to me like Bargle's not there. So, not that we won't open it, we'll just save it after a bit safer. And we've got our prey. Maybe those two doors. I'd be surprised if they don't go to the same place. But maybe you could find out, my little. Mousy friend. <laughs> we'll take a peek very gently into this one. Okay, this one is incredibly pitted stone and has some grates in the ceiling and little holes. Uh, sorry, some grates in the ground and little holes in the ceiling. And you don't see any. You don't see any. Um, uh, any button on the inside to like let you out. You do see the scratch marks. Um, along the inside of the door. <laughs> that sounds like we're, we're just going to call this the acid shower <laughs> trap. <laughs> and I don't know if he wants to go look at the other one. <laughs> He's, he can, as long as he so far he hasn't found any like anything in the walls that have been like terribly grenade to the inside here. This one even more cautiously. The room for the wizard is through there, around here somewhere. He's pointing like through the. It's behind there where his private uh, chamber are. Okay, you peek through this one. This one seems to be empty, um, but Junker, with his survival and the fact that he's lived in trash, is that somebody spent a long period of time in this room like an oubliette almost. Uh, you could see hair and nail filings and a little grate where they might have pooped and peed in and signs of them maybe going mad. Uh, the place was haphazardly washed a bit and then, like, there's nothing in here at this point. Okay. Uh, um... This one is it was much cleaner, just like the hallways, uh, unlike this one. We'll call this an oubliette. Uh, how far? Uh, in the zoomy. He's pointing oh. south. He's, uh, he's he's speaking at Grackle. I don't think Grackle speaks to Zoomy, but Grackle, how far down that way is this room you're talking about? Uh, after the room with the other carpet, it was uh, but. 30 feet through hallway, or 40 feet through hallway. So that way, should find it. How act like. Junker is not going just randomly through stone to infinity. Yep. He's nervous. How far is Junker willing to travel south to see if he can find this room? Based off of the instructions. Uh, he's at full hit points? I don't know. He, he, he's at full hit points. Um. 30, 30 feet is is the number that was given is the number that he would need to find the other side. So I'm kind of thinking 50-50. Because 
<laughs> You're playing Junker right now. Yep. All right. So I'm going to roll me a D2 uh, to see whether he cowards out or not. Uh, no, he doesn't. He goes. He doesn't find the room. He gets to about there before he turns around, unless there's something else that he finds in the walls. Uh, nope. Just uh, it's old foundation. Thirty feet to the right. Yep. Arnold just looks at Grackle and shakes his head in disappointment. <laughs> That's not that this through there. Ah, uh, yeah, it's down there, vaguely waving in the southerly direction. Somewhere. Chaga, Ghost, and I'll stare at this point to finish looting the body. It's at least uh, three minutes after the fight. Barnabas is. Oh, let's see what's behind this door. Okay. okay. We'll very, very. It, more carefully than any of the other ones. Yep. Check you you find another uh, door doorway again. It doesn't seem to have the little the little button, but this one's clear. Uh, and it might be a uh, more of a hallway than anything. Kind of like these two. What's past the wall at the back end? Just a small room. Nothing past it. He'll take a peek. Okay. Uh, when you start to... You are about to go through the room and you can actually hear a little bit of ticking. Uh, kind of like a like a little tiny mining tool like someone plinking away erra erratically at um, stone we turn around and okay. put our tail our stone tail goes between our stone legs and Got it. we tell them that oh this is you heard it before you went through the wall uh, wait, wait. <laughs> it doesn't sound very loud it was very fine like it didn't sound like a giant Mining, it sounded like somebody with a metal pen, like hitting the top of a table gently. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, open the door with the mechanism. Okay, the stone door kind of kind of turns sideways to allow you to get in. Uh, are you are you disabling the mechanism, or are you yeah, uh, okay. disabling it? So give, it stays open. give me a disable device. Uh, check my and you're disabling it open, right? Disabling it open, yes. Okay. Uh, 41. Yeah, you are able to, as the thing opens up, you got a few wedges that you you sort of wedge in, and then um, uh, followed by like a metal wedge inside, kind of close to where um, the pivot is, and you're pretty sure you you fucked up the device. Okay. All right, more. Mega's a door. Will <laughs> come in. Okay. Chunker's going to take a little bit more space between him. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Barnabas, I can be at the other end of the room. <laughs> I've done my job. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mort takes a few swings at the wall with his adamantine Titsubo. All right. After a couple of swings at the brick, and you realize very finely painted uh, stone door. <laughs> Uh, you end up ruining the, um, how shall we say, secret door and make an opening. <laughs> the not-so-secret door, we shall call it. <laughs> yep. Less than secret, secret door. Uh, the clinking has stopped. There is a finely swept room. Um, there is an, 
a very old looking kobold that has some tools in his hands. It looks like he's working on a statue of Bargle. That just turns around and looks at you. <laughs> It's a statue of Bargle? Yeah, it looks like it's a uh, like an incomplete statue of Bargle. You've seen them throughout the dungeon. It looks like this little guy is working on one. Hey, where's Bargle? I glance at the token name. It makes me really smile. <laughs> where's Bargle? Okay, he seems really unconcerned um, with Mort. He blinks really slowly, and then goes back to chiseling the the uh, the statue. Goes really tiredly. He's going to drag his behind up to the edge. <laughs> yep. It's a life without purpose for you, buddy. Sunder his chisel. <laughs> <laughs> you just smack the chisel. <laughs> He, he looks at his hands for a moment. <sighs> I wish you wouldn't have done that. Wait, burn off. Leave me be, I have work to do. He, he just points, like, past you to the south. Another door. I'll be knocking everything down. What are the rest of you doing? <laughs> I'm not going in that room. <laughs> Top, do this. Top, do that. He says as he finds a new tool and then just goes. He gets back to working. Excuse me. The magic's on him. Excuse me. Did I hear you say your name was Top? Yes. Uh, we're looking for um, the re the real wizard. Is he still about? Uh, give me a knowledge local um, boundary ballast. Uh, yeah, uh, Barnabas. Okay. I feel like this is perhaps one of those roles I should use my bonus points on. So I will take ten. Okay. Plus 1d6. Not awesome, but 35 total. Uh, Alright, if this is indeed Tarp, his name is Tarp Old Scale. He was born in Imperial Lands, and Tarp is a national treasure. He's a devious genius that is sought out by many folk who wish to keep their abodes and treasures safe. Uh, in early adulthood, he was granted imperial citizenship for his deeds and worked to secure important locations and things for the Imperium. Um, you know that Tarp, at least, did operate a tower workshop in Foundry, and that he disappeared a number of years ago. His followers never quite the wizard or trap maker that Tarp was. And they probably fallen upon hard times. Like you don't go to Tarp shop anymore because Tarp's not there. Yeah. Um, Tarp is the rival of an infamous goblin trap artist known as Man Trap. Okay. And how's he doing these days? Who? Man Trap. Oh, Man Trap is a female uh, a female druid ranger trap master who is a master of outdoor traps. I see. Okay. And, and the two of them have a rivalry, just like kobolds don't like goblins. Um, yep. They they have a rivalry. Uh, you found Tarp. Um, uh, he seems to like like he blinks really slowly and then goes back to his work like he's completely unconcerned that there are people here. Can I ask you a question? Um, you Are just you did. here of your own volition, or working on a commission, or are you a captive? He pauses for a moment. He makes a measurement with like a uh, like a seamstress kind of like measurement strip kind of thing, and then he looks at you. He blinks really hard. I have work to do for Bargle. 
Defense motive? Is he under a... Sure. Open? We could use a trap guy making our house all super awesome. 36? The worst kind of compulsion. It's called dominate person. Alright. Is Tarp a wizard? Well, the way he's equipped, it looks like Bargle, whoever dominated him, took all of his stuff. There's just a bunch of crappy tools all around and a small bucket of really good tools. Tarp, from your role, is a wizard alchemist that is known for tricks. Alright. Uh, he's, legend he's, le he's, legend he's legendary. Do you folks know who this is? No. This is one of the finest, if not the finest, trap maker in the Imperium, or at least on or at least on Volcanica. Wizards, the rich, all want this man to secure their homes. Fascinating. Why is he here? Oh, he's uh, clearly under the effects of a dominate person spell. Nasty things those are. He, he, he hear Toot Zumi chattering about whether it's a good thing to free this man because securing homes that's a terrible idea. How do want that? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look that special. Uh, Just kill him, says Alistair. No, he is special. He's actually an imperial citizen. Are you? <laughs> yes, I have work to do. Yeah, we'll be coming back for you, mate. No problem. <laughs> he blinks really long and then goes back to chiseling the nose on the Bargle statue. Apparently he's a really good sculptor. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to be stuck with that for a while. At least till we find this Bargle bastard. Anything's a trap. Everything's a trap. Yeah, fine work, by the way. Um... Any pointers for, say, I don't know, that door is pointing to this door here. <laughs> Anything's a trap. Everything's a trap. Yeah, well, made it through so far. Bagel has told us to get you to help us to open these doors. If he's treasure, why don't we just put him in bag? He's cobbled, he's small, he fits in bag. Yeah, well, first of all, if it's the bag I think you're talking about, um, he will suffocate and die. Put him in the bag. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so this this door looks more like, um, like... Like something important is kept here. It is a metal door. <laughs> Close fitting. It's got a lock on it. Alright, let's check for traps. Give me a roll. I look at it. Anyone helping me out? <laughs> yeah, I, I auto aid. Right. Forty-two. Good roll. Bad boy. Good boy. Okay. There is a. Um, a similar rune to the one that was outside in the hallways, a, an explosive um, rune trap that is on that is on the door. Uh, it will appear uh, if anyone fiddles with the um, with the lock. All right, let's disable the trap. The lock actually has two keyholes. And Grackle, you see. The key that you found earlier probably fits this lock. This key, do we remember the one in the Chester, in the floor above? It will likely open this lock. All right. Um, first, let's get rid of this exploding room because that's going to be awful for everyone. I think I've had enough burns. One week. Okay, the DC is 28 uh, to disable the rune. Uh, actually, no, because Tarp built it, it's DC 30. I, uh, I, uh, I can aid you. All right, so you're able to um, 
Tarpa is actually stopping and watching you. He's he's slowly working while not looking, and he's watching what you're doing. Uh, when you are able to carve away his runes, he, he his head bobs a little bit, and then he goes back to anything. Uh, anything's a trap. Everything's a trap. Curious to see if you had some kind of advantage to a dominate person trap. That would be terribly ironic. All right, so there's two slots for keys. We've got one. So you use that one, and I will try to pick this side of the lock. Okay. Uh, if anyone can, uh, you could try to aid you. Or if not, then I will use the key. Mister, I am very confident. I can help, says Los. All right. Los will float over, and he will he will aid. Um, Barnabas. Barnabas. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Give me a second. Is he a rogue? Uh, <laughs> a ninja. He's a ninja. He does not have trap finding. Uh, you might have a disabled device. Ghost Mind you, I don't know why you take it. <laughs> trap finding is auto aid. He's really sleepy though, and he coughs. <laughs> Can I get you a tissue? <laughs> right, he might have to. Yeah, he was going to spend a fee to get the trap finder trait, <laughs> along with another trait, so that he could, yeah, do traps. Okay, no. Um, He's got a plus 16 with exhaustion. So okay, so he auto aid. All right. Uh, uh, more, you may want to take a few steps back if they fail. Oh, yeah, it's a good call. Mort actually goes small for a second <laughs> and hides behind Chaga. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean uh, you can cover the rear, I guess. Enjoy the I smell back there. I'm being I'm being <laughs> enough to the rear. <laughs> And then it hits you. <laughs> Chuck was at the back. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> all right. It was, it was, all of the fighting got got things kind of churning. Are you sure all the cheese you're eating is good? It's not a little. Oh, it's delicious going down. It, it tastes not so good when it's coming out. Why are you tasting it? I, it is very confusing. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, You're like, on three. One, two. <laughs> Tarp is watching you right. again while slowly working on a, a new piece of the... So, well, all I meant was one, two, three, and then not one, two, go. <laughs> clearly a problem. <laughs> right. <laughs> clearly a problem with timing. Okay. All right. When is the plus? 43. This 43 time. gets by the good lock with arcane, uh, with arcane lock. Uh, the door opens up. Revealing a small chamber with two very heavy looking uh, trunk size lock boxes. Give me a perception check versus traps. You have trap spotter, or is it ghost that has it? Ghost, but he is also there. Okay, yeah, get, ghost gets it, and then Barnabas. Bar Barnabas is, gonna, is just going to check because everything's a trap. <laughs> How could it possibly be that? <laughs> There's no traps here. Why would there be a trap here? Okay. Why would there be a trap here? So, so you guys are excited to see potentially treasure uh, treasure chests that size. Um, a world-renowned trap maker that's 15 feet from the <laughs> he, He's still working. He's watching. Like he, he, uh, Can I find the traps? Uh, you can also make a perception grackle as you were looking. Although you were tending on aiding people, so uh... twenty-four. Okay, it still doesn't see anything. Uh, yes. is exhausted, so he ain't going first. <laughs> yeah, I don't tired. see anything. So Barnabas is confident that he didn't miss anything because he's that good. Okay, stop there. 
That's what I thought. <laughs> Give me a second. Ah! Hey. These wizards use dimension doors for the doors. <laughs> These wizards are assholes. <laughs> Okay, uh, you want to give me a D8 plus 2? That will be the CR of the trap. Plus 2? Yep. What the fuck? Oh, fuck off. It's a, it's a, like a, just a crushing doom trap. Fuck me. The tier 10 trap's a big problem. Backup character, Mark. Goo. A fine goo. So these, these can either be really, really terrible or really, really inconvenient. Because so. I've got Grackle's twin brother, Mackle. Mackle? <laughs> 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 I have a very similar skill as that. Oh, there we go. I, I'm just assuming the entire family has Ackle in it. It's like Mackle, Mackle, Rackle, Cackle. It makes it easier. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> All right. Um, there is a massive block of stone that is coming crashing down, uh, basically above your heads. All right. Uh, I'm looking to see if I've got a feather fall prepared, and I don't. There is an attack roll um, for the block of stone. That shouldn't be too difficult. It hits AC 35. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I uh, can I use a the swashbuckler? I don't see why not. The dodging yeah. dodging panache. Yeah. I, I'm just. Uh, you guys know it a little bit more than I do. I don't know if you that... need to be aware of the attack. And, and it, what's your AC? No, twenty-three. Okay, well, so unless you've got a plus twelve bonus to your charisma, it's not going to help you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Never mind. You might be able to windy escape the big rock. Unless it's a magic big rock. <laughs> Give you DR ten. Okay. Um. It does sure. 31 Sweet. points of damage. Sweet. And now you get to make a reflex to save to see if you're pinned. Oh no. Can I Windy escape? Uh, you were not aware of the trap, so you're okay. flat footed. You do get a reflex save because when bad things happen to you, you get still get reflex saves. So hang on, that was thirty-one damage. And, uh, on that one. Oh, you're really under there. And your head is under there, and your legs. He's are like the wicked witch of the west, with, or the east, but it's just his socks sticking out from underneath, kicking away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which side of the which side of the block do you want to be on, Grackle? Uh, I'll be on. Uh, I have no strength, man. I can't fucking aid you. I'll be on this. I'll be on this side. Okay, so you basically tumble to this side of the to this Help. side of the uh, of the block as it came down. It hit your shoulder. Uh, Barb has just disappeared under the block. Um, you heard clinking along the sides of the walls, like there may be, the, there may be a way to lift the block back up again. Um, I was best at finding that is under the rock. Yeah, Barnabas, you're slowly being crushed. Um, there, they may have like the mechanism that is allowing this block to be reset is probably the thing that's also saving you at this point in time because a 10 by 10 stone block probably crushes you instantly. Cockroach meat work boot of full grown man. Yep. yep. They might they might have just elegantly crushed you so much that maybe your equipment might survive. But definitely you you breathe out a little bit in in like kind of a like a, a last oh fuck me kind of like thought and and like the breath isn't coming in 
Help no! All right, what's everyone doing? Uh, mortal, get big. Oh shit, face. Yep. <laughs> oh. Shit. Chaga's rushing over. Uh, Junker is gonna go like into the rock and try to find and see if he's alive. <laughs> yeah, Barnabas is alive. <laughs> You managed to move around. You can see, like, one of his eyes is still open and blinking. It looks like he's in extreme amount of pain. <laughs> he's trying so hard to get his back to his mouth. Right now. <laughs> no, you're... Uh, the chain to lift uh, stone is, is here somewhere. Blink. Blink twice if you need breath. He blinks twice. <laughs> yeah, so Barnabas is facing in. His feet are facing this way, so you guys are kind of like, you could see his boots, uh, you could reach his boots, whereas uh, uh, Junker can, like, is moving around through the stone and is able to see uh, Barnabas. So, if it looks like he's going to asphyxiate, I would like to give him dirty rat mouth to, to mouth. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> no, it, it, he can still kind of breathe, but he is taking uh, damage each round. So by the time you guys run over there and you're trying to do stuff, Barnabas has taken six more damage. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. Um, here, let's see if we have a thing that can do a thing. Um... Ghost is also in the stone, kind of popping out. Hey, you can! <laughs> 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 The Magus ability to prepare spell thing. I've never used that. Does anybody give me the, the quick spell recall? No, that's a spell you've already cast. Uh, I don't think he has the retrain thing. Okay, never mind. Um, sorry. Um. Okay, next round, Chaga is kind of reaching in and is going to uh, use a charge from a wand to heal Barnabas. Yeah, for wand to paint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get healed for three. Okay, for three hundred. How do we get you out of here? Okay, so uh, Grackle, uh, are there any? You said there's there's parts of, of rock, right? Seen? Yeah, there's. He's he's going to grab uh, rocks. He's going to grab four rocks and give them to Junker and say to put them in the four corners of the thing so it doesn't crush them down any further. Okay, so Grackle, you go and this round you gather some rocks and and Grackle. run back. I uh, run back and I say, yeah. Junker, put these in the corner. Stop, stop the stone from. Okay. Pushing. Alistair will also position himself to provide a bit of healing for uh, for Barnabas. Oh, they say in your last moments in things like this, you truly go mad. And there's this buzzing sound in your mind as he calls upon the patron of madness to heal you. <laughs> I'll do it out, thanks. <laughs> For how much though? Uh, yeah, uh, he is f at least fifth. Okay. Ghost. The mechanism. Nine. The chain is here. I know. Yeah. Is there I is know. there the reset mechanism somewhere? Can we try to get that thing to speed up, or does it have to go through the crush cycle before it can go through the lift cycle? Uh, who's asking the question? Junker. Or, not, or ghost. Sorry. Um. Uh, ghost. Give me a perception check versus traps to see if Ghost now understands the trap. 20. It's a big old rock. Not this round. It's a big smushy rock. Uh, that makes <laughs> the ghost smush. Um. Okay, this leaves uh, Chaga's healed, Alistair's healed, Ghost has looked at the trap, Grackle grabs some rocks. Mort, what's Mort doing? Mort's going to try to lift or at least alleviate some of the pressure. Okay. Uh, he has a, an effective lifting strength. It's plus eight with the meal back cords. Plus eight. No, wrong character. That's a 
Oh, those are I. Lucas going to put those things under his belt. <laughs> yeah. Um. So his effective is thirty six uh, from a large creature. So. All right. Give me a strength check. Use the thirty six. Uh, to see if you could actually lift the block in the device. Okay. Uh, I think you get a plus four on strength checks for your size. Okay, so... Hey, Hooker. Lift. Yeah, you could use your size bonus as well. Uh, 30... Throw that at, like, that's his range weapon. <laughs> uh, uh, so the DC is going to be hard, but it's it's like you're doing a titanic feat of strength. Twenty five is probably not going to do it. Uh, you know, twenty five lifts. You're starting to lift it up. <laughs> you can you can hear some of oh, the. Sorry, it's, uh, I forgot to add my mutagen still running. So twenty seven. Yeah, you you can hear like like one of the something like skipped a rivet inside like. The, the whole stone jiggled a little bit, but you're you're lifting it up and you're kind of forcing against the next rivet. Okay. Uh, you've bought Barnabas a bit of breathing room. Uh, Barnabas might be able to wiggle out with a disabled <laughs> with a uh, sorry an escape artist check. The DC <laughs> the DC at this point is twenty five as you're as you're trying to like wiggle out of like this. <laughs> you can't. You can't. He's like. He's, he's, no, not with a twenty-five. He's like, it's like his flask is like pinned him down or something. <laughs> like, I can't move. Okay. Uh, he has no right to be escape artist. Okay. So, uh, if I, oh, what is the grease? Any the greasiest, slimiest? Okay, so with Mort holding the thing up a little bit, it's actually not doing damage to Barnabas. Barnabas, what are you trying to do this round? Uh, can he cast a spell? Uh, you are pinned, so you, you could cast a spell with verbal-only components. Uh, uh, no. You'd have to make an escape artist check, different DC, to actually pull out a material component. Okay, well, we'll try that. And there would be a concentration check involved if it was a somatic component involved. Well, let's make the check to pull out the... Uh... The material component? 14. No, your, your arm's pinned. All right. Uh, Junker is going to... From the, from the stone form, is going to start trying to push Barnabas out. Okay. Like he's gonna, because he could literally go in there and get like heads on shoulders. Like he could go like and grab by the face and push me. Like, okay, CMB or escape artist. Uh, well, let's see how well this character was built. Um, it's all terrible. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um... Plus four versus plus four. It will be the one that's plus. It'll you'll be escape artist because he's got his he's music running. So it's uh, it's actually a plus six. So oop. okay. He's trying to. I guess it's aiding, but yeah, eighteen. He's All right, pushing. so Barnabas has got an aid. Okay. Uh, All right, L Los is. Oh, looks like he's got. He's able to breathe a little bit. He's moving around. Lift it up higher. Is what he says. Uh, chug. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Chaga is going to cast. Oh, are you kidding me? He didn't take grease. That's that's why I've been finding. No, the, the characters don't have grease. It's like why Part of it has grease. grease. Sadly. <laughs> why aren't you all greased up? Wouldn't you have thought this would happen? <laughs> Alright, Chaga is uh, is going to just use another charge of a wand to keep Barnabas alive uh, for three hit points and then he backs away. Uh, Grackle, you're placing rocks in the corners that you can reach. Yeah, I'm okay. also... Uh, can I pull out a potion as well? No, you're, you're either... You're spending the round placing rocks or you're 
trying to understand the trap. Okay. 33. Oh, yeah, there's probably a... You don't see the mechanism on this side. There might be a mechanism on the other side to, like, reset the trap. Does it block the whole doorway? Uh, there are... Um, yes, along the sides it does. Underneath it doesn't because Barnabas is there. <laughs> Junkers on the other side. You can get there. Uh, uh, ghost could wiggle under the trap in its current state. Uh, ghost, it, it, ghost, so, yeah, Ghost is going to go, like, will, like, slide through the other side. He's going to go to Escape Artist. Okay. Uh, given that it's being held, um, there's some rocks in place, and you're small. Okay, I know the DC. Okay, so you make no progress this round. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll use the the if, uh, the end of my sword and just... <laughs> escape artistic through this if this small creature is failing on that. <laughs> yeah, the DC is twenty. For Barnabas to move, it was twenty five. For so for you, it was twenty. Uh, and yeah, you're like, oh, not not making any progress here. You're like, ah, oh, shit, my bow's in the way, <laughs> and you're you're trying to adjust things. Uh, Alistair. Um, I guess we'll use another first level spell to heal Barnabas. Prolong your suffering! We're gonna laugh at him so hard, but he can't get his mask off. <laughs> Thir 13 healing and horrible buzzing in your ears. He has to butt chug food for the rest of his day. <laughs> <laughs> And then Mort, another strength check to keep this thing held. Okay, uh, 35. Yeah! You actually not only hold it, but you lift it up even a little bit further. Uh, not quite enough for Barnabas just to automatically wiggle out, but you've reduced the DC. Okay, excellent. And Barnabas might be able to start moving his hands around. Um, alright, this is the end of this current round. Uh, Barnabas, what are you doing? He's gonna try and... Uh, still very difficult to get out. Uh, it's now, uh, DC 20 Escape Artist. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, um, try to get that material component out. Okay. 13. With the aid from Junker, you do? Okay. Concentration check to cast. Uh, you're a component, a little bit of butter. <laughs> t Ten plus level. Uh, it is a first level spell. As you're no longer being crushed, you're just in a like cramp spot. No, he's casting grease. The material component is butter. Nice. No, it sounded like a joke. But <laughs> real components. <laughs> Chug is licking his lips. <laughs> oh, uh, he automatically. It's the DC is ten plus level. Yep. Ten plus uh, the level of the spell. Yep. He automatically makes that for a concentration check. Okay. What did you do? Uh, he cast grease on himself. Okay. You are slick and slimy, like someone has taken pounds of butter and rubbed it all in. <laughs> I'm gross! <laughs> <laughs> That's a plus 10 on your circuit uh, first check. Yep. Yeah, uh, Junker, Junker, what are you doing this round? I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep pushing him. Yeah, oh, you could just push him without aiding him. Like, he seems to have greased himself up and is actually wiggling around. Uh, I will... He doesn't look that hurt anymore, so we'll, we'll, we'll actually drag him out this way. Okay. Drag him to the good side. Alright, so the... Pull us all up. <laughs> sure. Uh, the, uh... So, 22 is my escape check for him, and plus whatever the spell does. No problem. Uh, you drag him into the room and trigger a trap. The other half of the CR uh, uh, 10 trap. <laughs> As poison gas begins to fill the room. Are you fucking kidding me? 
you you get are you fucking <laughs> as you've triggered the cloud kill trap on the other side of the room cr5 and uh given that this is a tarp um Let's see, this is still a trap, so trap DCs mean, uh... Typically, it's the spell level, is the, like, if it's a hit circle spell, it's the... Uh-oh, you guys are still 6th level, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, cloud kill's bad. It does things that, it does things where this could change what the story looks like after this point. All right, uh, fortitude saves. <laughs> this is a poison effect. Not twenty, thank God. Okay, so you don't die. Yep. Well, uh, Junker has. I'm just looking for. Her. He's got. You have a bonus, bonus from being. Uh... Yeah. Hey, let me just check the earth, earth elemental body. I think earth elementals are strength. Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, his base fort save is shit, though. Okay. So. Okay, 27, no problem. Okay, this, the two of you begin hacking up horrible fumes. You don't want to be in here. Um, I think we still take con and then you both take con damage. <laughs> Three con damage. You you hear you hear tarp mind numbingly recite perhaps ominous warnings. <laughs> uh, he says, "Anything's a trap. Everything's a trap." Okay. Uh, some people didn't act this round. Grackle, what are you doing? You can see horrible poor uh, like horrible gas kind of floating underneath the block. It appears that the um, the cloud kill is moving towards the um, the entranceway. Like it's flowing out underneath the block. Shit. Underneath the block, huh? Okay. Uh... Uh, Mort's still holding the whole thing up. Like, and, and, and uh, Barbus is greased. Barnabas is, is not under there anymore. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's, he's under, not under the rock, but he's all greasy, and like there's still room where Barnabas could maybe crawl all greasy back through the, the, the hole. Uh, but what are you doing, Grackle? You've placed rocks that are no longer like touching the, like, uh, that are not quite touching the, the bottom of the uh, slab, because Mort's like heroically holding it up. Uh, fucking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fucking use it. Um, he's. What do we do? What do we do? They're on the other side. Of this poison. Uh, he's delaying till somebody does something, and he can offer an aid because he's gonna have out of ideas. Okay. Let's... I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> hey, my rocks can help. Yeah. Keeping me poison for coming in. Um. Does Mort look like he's still trying to power lift this thing up to the ceiling? Yep. He's. Yeah. He's. Try to aid him. You're gonna aid Mort? Okay, so you're you're like you grab a hold of the stone and you're you're, you're getting pushed up. Uh yeah, buddy, I'm gonna try to help. Chaga is going to oh, feed a hmm, that would screw up Mort. Never mind. Fuck. I have... Oh great. No, I'm not helping you, Mort. Druid can make this go away. It just takes two rounds. 
What does hold portal do? Uh, hold portal, like, temporarily locks doors. Hold shut a door, gate, window, shutter of metal, uh, wood, or stone. The magical effects of the portal as if it were secure and closed and normally locked. Hmm. Probably not the thing we want to do right now with people on that side. <laughs> uh, it's, it's uh, a possibility, I guess. Yeah, it's like, oh, I never like those guys anyways. Uh, it's too late to make <laughs> <laughs> money. Chaga has nothing. Like, there's nothing here. Um, Chaga's going to take his tower shield and try to wedge it underneath the block. So at least it's got to crush his tower shield before crushing anything else. So he's he's moved up and he's wrenching the tower shield underneath. He moves forward, unhooks the tower shield, and wrenches it into place. So he's actually close to the gas now. Uh, Alistair is... His friendship only goes so far. Pull them out! No one, no one had any question. Pull them out, stupids! Just... Is what he says, and he drops his 50-foot silk rope and grappling hook on the ground and backs away like he's afraid of the situation, but not so far that he can't see what's going on. He's just going to go there, and he's, like, looking down. He wants to see, He wants to see the look on your faces if any of you die. Such a sweet child. Um, then Ghost and Mort haven't gone yet. Mort's gonna try and lift it higher. Okay, <laughs> changing his a little bit. <laughs> Not with a nineteen. Uh, okay, so his grip actually slips a little bit, and um. Uh, you make no progress. I think I just shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ghost, what's Ghost doing? Uh, I believe the turn is piercing into the wind. Um, There's a rope and grappling hook that's dropped beside him. Uh, there are stones that aren't piled up too high. Chog is wrenching his tower shield in to try to try to keep this thing open. He's going to. Uh, all right. Move action or an action to pick up the rope and grappling hook. A true strike. Throw the grappling hook to like I want to hook. Hook me a wizard. I've fished <laughs> okay. Zing! So don't roll a one, and you've you've hooked, uh, you've hooked Barnabas. Basically, is what I think you mean by a wizard by the belt with the grappling hook. He's a wizard, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Tell me whatever he is. Oh, I'm bard. Sure, you are a wizard. <laughs> roll seventeen. All right, Barnabas. you you've you've hooked you've hooked Barnabas by the by the belt. And I am dragging the rope like this direction. Okay, so the DC of the escape artist was 15, but you get a plus 10 because Barnabas is slicked. <laughs> and do I get to use my escape artist for this, or what do I use? Uh, you could use... It's probably a CMB at this point. Yeah, yeah. You put the rope on your shoulder, and you're like, Argh! Keep in mind, you're exhausted. <laughs> oh, I, ooh. Seven. This is a good idea. Is that including the plus 10? For, oh, I guess I could take the DC off that way. So 15 minus 10 is 5. So oh, we're, we're, we're dragging his prone ass through the thing. You move him 5 feet. You're like, oh, he's on the brick again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, because there's not enough space for the entire cloud to go, it's going to take two rounds for the cloud to start seeping through the uh, uh, through the tunnel. Uh, Junker and Barnabas go, and then it's the cloud, and then it's the party. Okay. Junker is going to move to here. Yep. 
grab the rope. And then pull? And then pull, pull. I got two actions. It's pull, pull. You move, grab the rope, and then pull. I think that's... Well, it's the... I'm, I believe it's a CMB against the rope, so I don't think I have to, like... Like, I don't know. Do, do I have to spend action to hold on to the rope? Or is it just... That's, you know what I mean? that's fine. That's fine. It's, whatever. It's, I'm assuming other people are going to help. <laughs> I just... I'm going to roll crap. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things are going to happen when I roll this die. Yep. Uh, actually, no. 21. Okay, so uh, you the 10, so you end up pulling Barnabas all the way out, and you're kind of back about ten feet um, with your buddy Coast, and Barnabas is out. <laughs> Schlick, it's all gross. Uh, Chaga at this point in time, I think, is abandoning said tower shield, which is now we want the wall to close, <laughs> but he just in a panic kind of kind of moves back from this. Uh, into the room, like ah! as the as the the gas is starting to float under the the rock, uh, uh, crackle. Uh, I'm gonna take, uh, I guess, two actions to smash the rocks or like just kick the rocks that are. Okay, under. that's that's one action. You, you could also try to dislodge the tower shield, which would allow this whole bro block to to fall down. All the way. Uh, to dislodge the tower shield, if possible. Okay, give me a CMB or an escape artist check. Uh, the DC is fifteen. The DC is fifteen. Or CMB, right? Yeah, let's do CMB. Okay. Because if you don't do this, then the gas is going to get you. <laughs> Oh, of course. So wait a second. You kick the rocks. That's one move, and then you did a CMB check, which to escape a grapple is normally like a like a single move. So you have one move left. You could try it again at a minus five. Oh God! Or move back. Agile it's... maneuvers is a good feat to take at some point. Yes, it's <laughs> gonna get. But if I don't, it's gonna get. How far will it move out? Uh, 10 feet per round. I'm not tough enough to do this, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Then, then don't. <laughs> this is not a group of heroes. Yeah. This, is, this group is not heroes. So if somebody's like, wow, you have to die this round. Hey, Mort, Mort, what are you doing this round? Uh, <laughs> Los is just buzzing around the room. <laughs> He's dropping it. Okay. And he'll grab Barnabas and drag him to the other side of the room. Alright, the crunching trap does 35 damage to uh, to Chaga's tower shield. Uh, a plus one tower shield is plus 10 hit points, I believe. Give me a second. Uh, I think so, yes. A tower shield has 5 hardness, 20 hit points. Plus one gives it a 7 hardness with 30 hit points. So it's still there. So 37. It, it, it so it has two hit points left. It's cracking. It's folding in half. But the gas, the gas is coming out. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a good idea. And the gas kind of spills out into the room. Just tendrils of death coming out of the room. You know, this tarp looks, licks his finger. He holds it up in the air. And he just takes a step back. Speaking common. Okay. As opposed to Nizumi. Junker's going to move back a little bit. And he's going to turn into Junker. And now we have time to make the problem go away. Alright, the party, it feels like, is kind of starting to <laughs> retreat <Yeah. laughs> through the doorway that you wisely uh, pinned <laughs> open. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving this place going. <laughs> ah, you're gonna, you're gonna die. Is what, is what Alistair says to Tarp. Tarp doesn't seem to think so, or maybe he's so badly compulsed that he's continuing his work. 
you can see he's got a little like little duster and he's dusting off the parts of the statue he was working on junker uh as the gas of death uh begins to flow out even further <laughs> i summon d3 air elementals to go whirlwind through the cloud okay how many uh let's see hopefully this works <laughs> what needs to be, uh one shouldn't have used that second circle spell <laughs> third circle spell he has superior summoning. Each time you cast a summoning spell that conjures more than one creature, add one. Uh, 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 uh. So it's still one then. Uh, each time you cast a you cast a summoning spell that conjures more than one. So it, it, it basically it, it, that spell you roll a die. Is how I would read that, as opposed to being like like a, where the spell only summons one. Uh, okay. It should be three plus one. The wording is weird. It's like you rolled a one, so you only got one. But if had you rolled two, you would you would get three. I think the wording the wording is just. I, I think raw means some summonings you summon one creature, so you only summon one. When you when you undercast your summon, and get more, multiple, then you add one. So actually, two. It sounds like two air elementals show up, right. and, and then begin to vacuum up the uh, and and keep the. Uh, uh, the poison gas at bay. Are elementals immune to poison? Uh, real ones are. Not my kind of crappy one. Okay. So, yeah, they have no problem dancing around in the cloud kill, and they keep it busy for the the minute or so that the cloud kill uh, is around. Use the whirlwind to do the thing and just suck it up and ghostbusters that away. Yay! Okay. Um... That whole thing took a couple more minutes off of your spells. I think between that and talking, your minute per levels from the last fight are now gone. In the zoom, can we go home now? <laughs> yeah, very soon, very soon. Tarp, tarp goes back to like marking up the, the block of stone and. Bad Barnabas. Passes back here. It's like, well done, Top. Very good. Didn't even see that one coming. <laughs> Junker's going to go and break the nose off of whatever one of the statues being carved by Top. Okay. Top <laughs> 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 just exhales and he goes and finds the nose and is looking at the nose piece and. Well, well he knows. <laughs> now he knows. <laughs> You can see he like puts it into a handkerchief and and ties it up and puts it beside the statue and then <laughs> goes back to what he's doing. <laughs> Does the stone seem to be resetting now? Uh the stone stays for a while, uh, but then you do hear some internal mechanisms that you haven't broken, and then slowly the stone's going like. Tuk, 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 tuk. Another minute passes and the stone is back into the roof. All right, so is there some kind of bonus for spotting it now, seeing as I stepped on it? <laughs> yeah, there's a bonus for uh, for finding the mechanisms and, and trying to disable the trap. I'm going to say you get a plus four because you lived it. <laughs> it's right there. Can't you see it? It's right there. Come on. Blaze is the nose of your face. That sounds like an assist. I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, 37. All right. The yeah, you you uh you do see the mechanism. All right. You understand how you can keep the block. I'm assuming you want to disable the trap so the block doesn't come down. Yes. Yeah. Yes, very much. So. It's in a track. Basically, clogging up that track with something very hard will do. All right. Uh, wow, I am just. Awesome. Uh, Thirty-two is good enough. It's just a uh, it's just a uh, mechanical trap. So you're able oh, to awesome. you're able to take a couple of pitons and blast them up in there, and then you find some you find some wood and and uh, tools around the room to basically jam it uh, on all four sides. And uh, you're pretty sure for the purposes of you guys going in, taking a quick look around, and getting the fuck out, uh, this will do. Okay. 
Uh, Barnabas does take a moment to look at the bottom of the stone to see if uh, he is as tarp is as mean as Barnabas would be. Whereas Barnabas would ha have engraved like a big fu finger on the bottom, so you could—that's the last thing you see. <laughs> uh, no, but you do see a maker's mark in there. Just a simple stylized kobold T. Okay. Get the ground and see if there's a Barnabas impression on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's kind of there's kind of like some handprints and maybe the face from when he uh, when he turned greasy. <laughs> Those aren't tear stags, I promise you. They're not. <laughs> uh, Focusing on the head region a little bit below. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Everything's a trap. Anything's a trap. Oh, if he wasn't worth money, I swear. Goes around the corner. Uh, yeah, you see the burnt sigil of the uh, of the gas trap that you uh, that you had set off. Yeah, uh, there's not a square foot of this room. He doesn't check for traps at this point. <laughs> we get him to make the big giant block trap, but you put the symbol underneath. Oh, so that you get like the stunning symbol on the way down. You're stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's all. That. All right, Barnabas, yeah, kno Barnabas knows that this this area is safe because you just set off the trap there. Although you're very dubious, it's very uh, you're very suspicious of the room, and, and you're looking around. Yep. Is anyone else coming in to aid Barnabas? Or all right, oh Barnabas, perhaps you should uh, uh, heal yourself before wandering into the room further. I. Yeah, fine, fine. He taps himself twice. Okay. Uh, Gra Grackles actually has got 30 damage. Uh, I, uh, that's too expensive to heal just for the fuck of it. <laughs> he's he's coughing, uh, and his solution is to light up a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. <laughs> Clear up that pipe, man. Thanks. I can't have you in there alone. Uh, Grackle's gonna drink a few potions and follow you in. How many do I get? Go Ghost will go. Ghost still has Con. He doesn't need Dex. He doesn't need Strength. Con and Wisdom is all you need to help. But he's but you're going first. You're standing in front. Yep. <laughs> Barnabas is checking ten foot squares. And Ghost is checking and checking from just being a trap spotter. He's actually okay. looking, so. Yeah, give me. Uh, so you guys are fine here. You're actually strangely fine in front of this first chest, uh, but give me two sets of rolls for Ghost and one for Barnabas to spot traps. And we don't move until we confirm with each other. So I don't. Ghost think. gets a fifteen and an eighteen with a plus fourteen. Uh, I have trap spotter as well. Get your ass in here and do the job. I'm in here. Trap yeah. finding or trap spotter? Spotter. Trap, spotter. Yeah, trap. Well, he's a rogue. He's got trap finding. Yeah. That would have been useful last game. Just shot off, all right? Uh, 28. All right, and then Ghost got what? Nothing. Ghost didn't find mechanical traps. There could have been a, a cow trap, but he would have missed it. <laughs> so, so perception traps. Oh fuck! Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> the number of ones. It's gonna be cloud field two, like big boogaloo. <laughs> and this trap resets the other two traps. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Give me a second. There's a World of Warcraft ad that's killing the web page I'm trying to look at. Uh... <laughs> Sometimes Modron hates you. He's like, this is funny. We're going to do a whole <laughs> session of you getting exploded. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like a movie scene. Sure, sure. Explode you, now the traps explode you. Great. This will be a pit trap that falls into a bat of acid or something. <laughs>
very large trunks uh, is a quill trap Were you guys aiding each other or doing all individual rolls? We all did individual rolls. With the hopes that one of us would catch it. 28 was the only one worth the goddamn. All the rest of them were useless. Never mind. You are all 28 is the highest, okay? If you had aided each other, you would have uh, you would have succeeded, but instead you're you're all being like, "Look safe." Yep. <laughs> the the big trunks don't have locks on them. They've got a place where you could place a padlock, but they're 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 none on them. You're close to getting the treasure. As I said before, ghost is standing behind. <laughs> okay. Barnabas taps. Okay. Because there could be things inside that are alive and like to eat. <laughs> ah, it's really heavy. the The whole thing doesn't budge. All right. There's no locks. No lock. Uh, and we checked it for traps. Yep. Yep. Oh, I guess I opened that up. Okay, oh, so you... For traps. You open up the first one, and there is a massive quantity of golden coins that are uh, naked and glimmering up towards you. It's at this point in time that the walls begin spitting. <laughs> as a quill trap is uh, is go has gone off, as little poison darts are basically filling the room. Um, the attack on Barnabas. Each one of you gets is in a different square, so you're each going to get a different uh, attack roll. So Barnabas, AC thirty. That's hit. Um, Ghost, AC twenty five. If I wasn't exhausted. Okay, and uh, Grackle, AC 33? You're muted, Ahmed, but I'm just going to say, yeah, you Right, can. right, face. Okay, <laughs> the damage is 5 to each of you. Yeah, that's not going to be the problem. That's uh, not the problem. Uh, and then the poison. Glad I friggin' healed. You don't need ability scores, what those were. <laughs> uh, oh, I just gotta double check. Born of this has a bonus against poison. <clears throat> well, like, come on, it's gonna help. No, it's not. Fort save. Oh, look, it's crap. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Uh, before you roll it, I want to decide what poison it is. Because if I make the poison better, it increases the DC of the trap. It's bubonic plague poison! No! <laughs> Bullshit! That's fine. Plague rats. <laughs> Thank you have poison resistance. That's good, because I've got a minus two to my fort save. Uh... Okay, uh, it is a DC uh, 16 fort save. Uh -oh. I win the escape. I didn't seem like a magic bolt. But if well, it's not a one. Star, then <clears throat> it doesn't do damage, and I think I'm done. Yep. That's what we're going to do, because I am tired. My rat is tired. He's just turning into a park cloud for a second. <laughs> to just not have anything happen. <sighs> Yeah, you know what? Nine failed? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you take one con damage and you're poisoned. Cool. Well, this is where I didn't want that. I don't need that story. <laughs> uh, Barnabas is going to windy escape as well. That's what that first level spell is for. Okay. <laughs> you turn into wind as the place. <laughs> Like two, there there are three like volleys that come from all the walls and a bit of the ceiling angle down at the basically people standing in this area of the room. Uh, you trigger the poison quill trap. Um, well, okay. You know what? <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, Grackle turns and has like just three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's like one kind of pinched his cheek, another one embedded into his skull, and, and like 
Oh, I didn't get any on this side. <laughs> the other side is just they're all sticking out of his uh, sticking out of his cloak. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, you know what? New plan. We yeah. are going to kill Fargo, <laughs> break the dominate person, and have Top lead us through here to avoid all the traps. Oh, that's actually good thinking. Too bad you didn't come up with that beforehand, uh, Grackle. Because second. I wanted it now. <laughs> what are you What are you doing on your round before you need to make a fort save again? Uh, yeah. I have nothing to help me with this. Uh, nope. I have more uh, healing potions, but I do not have any. Uh, Anti toxins, maybe. Toxin, yeah. I'm searching the party. Uh, Chaga doesn't have any, Ghost is a ghost, or Los is a ghost, and Alistair doesn't have any. Young guys don't guys. have them. Yeah, they can poison you more, if you'd like to be more poisoned. <laughs> but I don't know how that uh, would I don't, I don't have anything for this. Uh, Let's do it. No, I can't. No, I guys can't do the things that you need. Okay. This, this room has just been like a resource suck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mojan was mean, and I was greedy. <laughs> One more room in this dungeon, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, after we're done the adventure, I'll tell you the name of this room. <laughs> Okay, so, so Grackle basically is like, I think I'm okay. He falls to the ground. Uh, he falls unconscious and is having one of those uh, conniptions where, like, just this froth is coming out of his mouth. Okay, what's actually happening to me in terms of... You're unconscious? That's not good. Stick his, like, dagger sheath in his mouth. It doesn't break his teeth. Because other than that... Don't know really what to do. I don't have heal yet. <laughs> have anybody with heal? Like all. Like, I'll double check. Like old fashioned. Oh, Mort. Oh, does he have that skill though? Fuck. Junker has heal through knowledge nature. I, Mort has it as well. I just don't know if he has knowledge nature. Oh, uh, Junker. Okay, so Junker oh. will go go to here and take a look. And I guess it's treat poison. Yeah, give me a roll. Uh, no, I'm just checking to see. It's treat that they will treat poison and a standard action. Okay, so he's gonna go treat poison. Uh, Eighteen. Okay, that meets the DC, so next time uh, Grackle needs to make a save versus the poison, he gets a plus four competence bonus. But the poison has run its course, and Grackle's asleep. And you understand that Grackle's going to be asleep for three hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> in Nizumi, kind of quietly to Barnabas. So, if you wanted to mark him as your own. <laughs> as I, I'm, I'm not doing this to be overly cruel. This is the this is the trap and the and, yeah, the unconscious for one d three hours. Uh, it's gonna be a long time. Wait, 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 so. You're you're muted, Ahmed. Yeah, I, I'm actually I'm fine with that. It's like better than you're better, better than dead. <laughs> Well, let's get him out of here first. Have a look at Los's character sheet, just in case combat happens. You can make rolls for him. Uh, so you, you drag Grackle out of the room. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave him with Tarp. Okay. Tarp looks at you. Yeah, I know. Everything's a trap. <laughs> Everything's a trap. 
Maybe he's a trap. Oh, who did you say Boggle is? He looks at he looks at Chaga, blinks really hard, and then while he's actually working, he points to the south. Kind of like pointing at this back wall here. The exhausted ghost and Condre Junker stay on the opposite side of where that <laughs> the wizard is supposed to be. I'll be right back. Yeah, uh, Alistair's going to hide in the secret passage. Ghost goes forward. You want me to take a look here? Yeah, it'd be good. <coughs> oh, this tobacco must be bad. My lungs are hurt. Uh, he, he bobs in. He's like, oh, there's there's just an open chamber on... He points, like, with his hands this wide. Uh, this mm -hmm. is all just a wall. There's a opening on the other side. Is there a boggle there? <laughs> Yeah, he's sitting in a he's sitting in a chair. Uh, there's some water between you and us. Uh, 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 Bargle and us. How deep and how wide? Ah, uh, you can walk around it. It's a pool. Oh, okay. Ah, so right about here then. <laughs> Mort's like lining up a swat. Yeah, I think he saw me though. <laughs> All right. Nah, he's just sitting there. Can you reach him? Yeah, he's on a dais in a fancy looking chair. If you put your pot close, can you get him? Uh, Chaka's too far away from that. He's about, uh... Well, if Chaka's standing near the door, I could probably get him. Like, like, into the door. Come on! I, we're, we're gonna... This ghost is gonna go push Chaga. Hey, Chaga, you... You boy, Chaga boy, you stand over here. <laughs> All right. Well, are we going in or not? Well, we've gone this fucking far. I haven't got much left, though. He's barred spell-wise. I've got some other spells. Understand. Exhaustion is the worst. Exhaustion is terrible. Yes. <laughs> Exhaustion is terrible. Uh, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Okay. Right. Before we go through, um. Ghost is going to use two points of arcane pool to recharge his true strikes because it's going to be a lot of that crap. <laughs> uh, so it's two standard actions to recharge his two trees, his two, two true strikes. Okay. Um, and he's going to stand way in the back and shoot arrows. <laughs> Barnabas is going to cast near image. Is yeah. The wall, the wall of fire should be down. So, uh, it should be five images. Yep. So uh, we're, we're going to whistle to have our rat swarm come to us. Okay. Yeah, you probably need to use another charge to summon the rat swarm again. Uh, it, it's. Yeah, it would have been like a six-minute thing, but we, yeah. it's going to be a rat. Yeah. Uh, these dudes were throwing fireballs left and right, so I don't think we're going to... We, we'll choose whether we swarm them, you know, if we're going to... Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chaga, I think if we're going to go in there, spells blazing is going to put up some spells. Uh, let me see here. Mort's got some... Probably got an extra... Uh, Mort's going to get a Weapon of Awe on his... Um, Amazing Tetsubo. Nice. Uh, Mort is going to drink a Long Arms. How long does Expeditious Retreat last? Is it a minute per minute? Yeah. That... Okay, so that's gone. And he's going to drink a Sea Invisibility. Yeah, Chaga's going to re up Sea Invisibility. He's going to put up a Mirror Image. Four images. Oh, that 
resist fire is gone. Uh, the resist fire is like a 60 minute spell. Oh, okay. Um, I think Junker is casting a bull strength onto Goth, so his bow will do slightly more damage. He still can't pull his bow back. Um, in fact, it might even be. Wait a sec, that might be dumb. Uh, give me a second. Um, that might be dumb. <laughs> that might be dumb. Junker is going to give Ghost his bow. Because Junker's bow is within the strength range. Okay. Junk, yeah, Junker's bow doesn't have a strength bonus. So then, with with a uh, uh, with full strength, he can fire that bow without the penalty. He doesn't have the additional penalty for not being able to draw the bow. Uh, Keep in mind, it's also a short bow, and yeah, it, it's it, you, it's actually a draw. Uh, he's going to be true striking every round anyway. So. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. Okay, Alistair is going to cast C in. Uh, the C in Visa should be still there. Yeah, they're there. Ten minutes they're, per level. Yeah. Per level, so. Okay. Does anybody want a fly from Chaga? People who are planning to get up in his grill. Because Chaga can expeditious retreat, and that's a much safer. <laughs> Grace to help offset the penalties a little bit. Uh, okay, Alistair will re up long arm. His C and Viz is still there. I think that's it for him. Exhausted guy, or do you buff the con drain guy? He's going to give Ghost a uh, resist electricity. Actually, no, the guy was scorching rain before. He's going to cast resist energy fire on Ghost again. <laughs> it served its purpose, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. How can you just leave that shit up? <laughs> Our ninjas passed out the corner. <laughs> Alright, uh, Chaga gives uh, Mort a fly spell. 
Oh. Yeah, you go spank him. <laughs> Doctor Spank. If Grackle was awake, poor Ahmed. <laughs> It's like, oh shit. Uh, fuck. These things. Oh, wait a sec. Vine Strike. What does Vine Strike do? Plus d6 damage for natural attacks. With a chance of entangling the creature that gets hit. Uh, screw it. We're casting Vine Strike on the, on the rat. It was good before. It'll be good again. <laughs> Vine Strike. And. Shield, and we're gonna turn it into a swarm. And if it dies, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Downtime is coming up, anyways. You'll replace the rat. <laughs> right, Got it. Right, and, and they'll pay me because it's the it's expensive to replace the rat. So the rats are just gonna go gangbusters, try to. They can, they can swim, they can climb. All right. Run. What's happening now? Uh, Mort is making a door. Is Junker an elemental or no? Junker is a sad panda, but he's not an elemental. He's, okay. a, he's a rat with a bow with a confused look on his face of like, this is not quite what I signed up for. I'm coughing on myself. <laughs> My bro is sweating profusely. All right, so Mort is attacking kind of like the wall and finding a door. We're going to say it takes D4 rounds for you to make just the opening. Okay. Three rounds. Okay. Um, light spills into the room. and Actually, there's light in this room already. Uh, and let me describe what it is that you see. There is a very clean chamber, like someone sweeps it almost daily. Uh, there is a uh, rippling pool of water in the center of the room. There is a dead uh, a doppelganger that is um, chained to the wall. <laughs> These two circles are statues of Bargel, and Bargel is indeed upon a stone dais, sitting in a seat, and he's sitting in the lotus position and seems to be concentrating. There's this annoying smirk on his face. Okay. Well, what happens when I true strike shoot him in the face with an arrow from Ghost? He doesn't know any better. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, I will generate the random numbers for initiative. <laughs> whether or not he's illusioned or whatever, whatever nonsense, I'm trying to kill him. <laughs> I noticed some grandma has been transmuted to Bargle just sitting there as a hostage or something. <laughs> the I, well done. I, I, I like your uh, your guesses, but um, <laughs> you haven't got any of them correct yet. <laughs> Los is first to go. Ah! <sighs> he only flies at 30, though, so he needs to fly 30 and then 30, and then he flies right up to Bargle, and something weird happens. Uh, it's like out of existence, he goes back. Oh, sorry, is he too far away? I think he is. I think he's just, like, he has to be a little... Yeah, away. as he approached Bargle, he whoop, There's a glow from the, uh, from the backpack. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good enthusiasm, lad. Good job. <laughs> uh, more as blocks of stone are flying everywhere as you ruin yet another, you know, part of the dungeon. <laughs> As he strewed a bunch of rocks all over the place, basically. It was a nicely crafted uh, secret door. Uh, you can hear Tarp go... <sighs> <laughs> uh, you notice that Bargle, who is like in the lotus position pre pretending to meditate, his eye, op his eye opened like when, when Los kind of moved in and then closed again. This is annoying, smackable smirk on his face. Uh, Junker, what are you doing? Junker. Rats are going. The rats are going hell bent to leather. They're going to try to. Do they have enough movement to go around the water, or are they swimming through the water? They have speed. Like, 
Uh, are they swimming through the water? Swimming through the water. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the water starts to get a little bit choppy, unnaturally so, by the time they all kind of swim across the water. When they reach Bargle, they seem to hit something that looks like a giant bubble all around him. And they're climbing up the bubble and they're squeaking and they, they can't seem to tw quite get at him. And I'll draw the uh, the very resilient looking bubble of magic that's around him. Is it, is it spherical? It is spherical, yep. Can you teleport the rats in there? And the rats are not penetrating this spherical bubble that is now visible. They're trying. Yep. Uh, Bo Boggle's like looking at the rats. He's like, he makes like a funny face and then grins at all of you. Junker's confused. And he's gonna he's gonna move forward and is going to attempt to spellcraft. Sure. What am I? What the, what the heck is going on? This isn't right. Seventeen. It might be a spell. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Barbus, you can't quite see what's going on yet, but you can see Junker like sticking his head off to the side, confused. Like you're muted. And rats smashing up against something. <laughs> yeah, the rats a whole like waves of them trying to get into a barrier that is quite visible now. Here, see what's going on. Spellcraft. Yep. Uh, spellcraft. Is Twenty one. It's a barrier of some kind. It's not right. Um, Grackle is unconscious. I'll stare. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just move her. Why are we all standing here watching? Go get him! <clears throat> oh, he's got a barrier around him. He's okay. In the food. Chaga will delay until after Mort. Uh, Mort's going in. Uh, it's Ghost, Surprise, then Mort. Oh, ghost? He's going to test the barrier. He's going to move forward. He's going to shoot one arrow at the barrier to see what happens when it gets shot. Okay. See what it does. Yep. Uh... It's like a, a half-hearted shot. Uh, um, okay. It's 26. Uh, would have hit. Would have hit the unmoving objects. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you were tired and you're like, oh, I didn't pull back far enough. <laughs> The the arrow kind of goes skidding across the uh, uh across the the stones and goes bloosh into the water. Anything else? Uh, he will ready a rapid shot with the minus five penalty against anything that might be a threat or a sparkle or pops out of his hole or something. All right, well that's curious that the arrow is now floating and then this violent wave of water vaguely uh, vaguely humanoid shape comes up out of the water and is now attacking the rats. I think that constitutes as a as a threat. Um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'll, I'll shoot it. Yep. <laughs> Not great at all. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of stupid to shoot it, I think. Um, AC 16. Misses by two. AC 15. Misses. Plus two to hit. <laughs> misses by three. So your, your arrows kind of end up in the water, but not into the creature itself. And then it's basically it five foot steps and is going to slam and slam the, the rat uh, swarm. 
the rat swarm is not small enough to not take damage. Okay, so AC 24 and AC 12. Uh, AC 12 is definitely a miss. AC 24 is... Oh, where did you AC? Uh, it's... AC is 20... Are we serious? AC is 24? It's AC is 24. Okay, uh, 11 damage. Uh, is that already divided by two? No. So, five damage. Okay, it's... Yeah, half damage from the physical. Uh, uh... I, I will, it's mobs that don't, but I, I will check. The swarm...